Tonight's homework, it's white, it's part of the notes. We did this in class. Um, anyways, this is how it looks, okay? We did this in class. We did the second problem in class. Now for fourth period, or um, I think fifth period, we didn't get this through, so if you're in my fifth period class, Listen closely, because it will be on tomorrow's test. Right, setting on it independent, that's your x. What the x is, the x is here in this case, times in second. And then dependent, what your y is, what your y means. Your y is the elevation in meters. So that's what you put the n dependent. variable independent variable is time in seconds Okay. Because that's what it says here for the x. The dependent variable is um, elevation in meters. Right there on the side right here. Okay. So the and the the dependent variable is elevation in meters. Okay, that's your answer there. What does the y-intercept represent? Okay, the y-intercept, y the b is right there, so we know b is 45. I should put the y-intercept ordered pair, the y-intercept ordered pair then is 0, 45. Okay, the y-intercept is, remember like this is 3 seconds and 30 meters. So this is 0, 0.45, that's 0 seconds in 45 meters. So meters go there, 45 meters, because it says so right here, meters. If you look on the side of your worksheet, it's meters there. So the y-intercept is 0, 0.45 which means at 0 seconds which hasn't start yet it's at 45 meters wherever it is okay a sentence explaining the rate of change and its meaning. Okay, let's find the rate of change. Rate of change is slope. You pick any two spots on here, any two. Let's say you pick 3 and 30. How about 6 seconds and 15 meters? Okay, 6 seconds and 15 meters. Alrighty. So we pick um, to find slope. So the 2 we pick is 330 and 6 and 15. Okay, so you do the y first. Now 3 and 6 are seconds. 
So it helps to know that this is seconds. And um, 30 and 15 are meters. So basically, you went from 30 meters to 15 meters, 30 meters to 15 meters, and from 3 seconds to 6 seconds. That gets you 15 meters over negative 3 meters. That can, on uh, three seconds, sorry. Mm -mm. The bottom one is seconds, so the second. That can be reduced to um, negative five meters. Okay, but we want to know in seconds over one second. All right? What does that mean? Because it says, and it's meaning. So we need to know the meaning here. So it's negative five meters. That means, because it's negative five, that means it's going down five meters every one second. So going down five meters every one second. Based on the graph, what are the coordinates for the x-intercept and what does it mean? Here's the x-intercept right here. That is nine. The x-intercept is um, 9, 0, which means nine second there's zero meters. Okay? answer for that one. And then for those the rest of you, I know for most of my class we finish um, the first page, all the problems, you're, you only have number three left. Now number three I made a, a typo that 15 should have been 16. If you didn't get 16 it wouldn't come out right. So um, if you do this, your slope here is um, 4. So and we need to use point slope because we're trying to find B, the y-intercept. We use point slope. y minus y1 equals to m parentheses x minus x1. y minus 8 equals to 4 parentheses x minus 15. Okay? 4x minus 60 equals to y minus 8. Add 8. y equals to 4x minus 52. Okay, and that's what you should have gotten. But make sure you change the 15 to 16. Write an equation, okay, because there's a b, because we know b here, b is negative 2, we use the formula y equals to mx plus b. And we know the slope because here's our dot right there. To get there, you have to go down 2 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 5. So our answer is y equals to negative 2 over 5x, and that's a minus 2. 
right there. Okay, um, for period two, I, we did number seven, but uh, we didn't do number five. So here's what number five looks like. Okay, you get rid of the um, the x first by making it equal to zero minus three x minus three x like that, and then you re you cannot combine these; they're not alike. So you do 4 minus 3x equals to 2y and divide everything by 2. And that gives you 2 minus 3 over 2x equals to y. And you graph that. The what b is 2, m is, of course, negative 3 over 2. That means you go down 3 and 2 to the right. Okay, now, and we most classes we did number seven number six write an equation of a line for the following line write an equation because there is b you can do y equals to mx plus b because we know b is one so we place the one right here or we write at the bottom so everyone can see the slope is one two over two m is 2 over 2 which is reduced to 1 y equals to 1 x right there like that or you can make the one invisible and it's the same thing okay most classes I did number 7 number 8 here's how you do number 8 a lot of the classes I didn't do number 8 except period 5 so um, you need to get rid of the 4 and the 6 to see the one I color in blue I need to get rid of the 4 cut first because this is times so that mean I divide last so I need to get rid of these but the 6 is last you minus 4x minus 4x now because these are not alike right here you just rewrite it recopy it as 12 minus 4x equals 6y divide by 6 gives you 2 minus 2 over 3x equals 2y. So my slope is negative 2 over 3. B or your y-intercept is at a positive 2. Okay, here let's look at the y side. Y is here. I need to get rid of that 3. I divide by 3 to all of them. Okay rid of that one. 9 divided by 3 is 3x. Three, 3 divided by 3 is 1 equals to y. And that's your answer. Okay, that's it.